Final score tonight from Brayhead Arena, finished Brayhead Clan nil, Nottingham Panthers 5. Joining me is the clan coach, Paul Gardner. Paul, you looked an unhappy man, probably frustrated at times tonight, is that fair? Yeah, I was very, very unhappy, uh, especially the first 10-11 uh, minutes of the hockey game. We knew that, uh, that Nottingham's a great team and they're going to come at us hard, but uh, I think you know half the team felt that the game was over before we even started and we didn't get the effort that's expected from these guys. Uh, no matter who we play, we got to go out and uh, skate and finish some checks and take pucks to the net. And uh, there's seven, eight guys that were passengers tonight and just uh, didn't get the job done. And uh, we got to have a whole team if we're going to have uh, any chance to beat Nottingham. And I'm very, very disappointed in some of the guys. Was that the most frust frustrating part of it, the fact that to you guys didn't look as though they were up for the game tonight? Yeah, that was more than anything. I mean, uh, again, I told them after the first period, I said, even if we lose 10 or 12 nothing, I said, at least go out and work and get the job done. And, and of Coach is happy with your work, you know, if things don't go your way. But uh, there were some guys that just didn't work, and uh, that's unacceptable here. It was a, a, a complete change from last night's performance that the guys put in so much of a, an effort. Tonight, it just seemed quite the opposite. Yeah, exactly. Again, I think everybody looked at the standings and looked what they did to us last time, and maybe a little discouraged from the, the overtime loss the night before. But uh, again, we're, we're paid to play every night and come to work every night. And, uh, and again, it just it didn't happen. There's some guys that battle, and uh, the, that's, the, uh, that's the unfortunate part. We have to have uh, everybody that dresses playing hard for us to be successful. There was a couple of times as well you had to, to speak to the, the referee. One was that the goal that was chopped off in the second period. What, what did you what did you say to oh, him? I definitely, we all thought it was a goal. Uh, the, the red light was on before he blew his whistle and he said that uh, Farmer knocked it in late. Farmer didn't even touch the puck. Uh, uh, Steve had uh, scored the goal and it was in and it's a momentum changer. It's, it's very, very frustrating. Uh, also frustrating, he didn't ask for help. That's why we have goal judges there and, and you go for help and if the goal judge agrees with them, well then fine. But uh, uh, it's it, that's really really frustrating part of the uh, the game when they take the authority and uh, and won't won't go for help. And then there was the, the incident involving it was just after the fight between Craig Seskin and Guillaume Lapine. Where Ryan Watt was deemed a, a, a delay for yeah, delay and uh, their you know their players are uh, the ones that are out yelling at Ryan Watt and everything, and uh, Waddy's just standing up for our guys and uh, staying in front of our bench, and uh, we end up with the with the penalty. It just uh, and I know the whole time he was there talking to the uh, the scorekeeper about the other penalties, and he turns around and boom uh, signifies uh, Watt. So that's. Uh, Again, uh, a frustrating part of it, but uh, it just sort of uh, steamrolled with the night. But Nottingham Panthers, oh, they, they seem to have the class above anybody else this year. There's no doubt they'll win this league this year. Oh yeah, they're, I mean, they're definitely the class that I've seen of, of all the teams, uh, not to criticize the, the other teams. They're just, uh, uh, right now, uh, a much better hockey team than I've seen uh, of, of the other groups you know, that we've played, and uh, they're, they're a better hockey team than we are. But. Uh, Again, uh, no matter if they're the best in the world or the worst, you've got to go out and work, and uh, that that just uh, again just wasn't wasn't there tonight. Now, big game tomorrow down at Hull Stingrays. They lost at five tonight. So, th does tomorrow's game take double more significance well, than, than this one? I th I think so. I you know I've got to take some time. Uh, you, certainly, when you look at the schedule, when I did earlier in the week, the Hull uh, game is extremely important. But you never want to look past these two. And uh, maybe that's what some of our guys were doing too, is looking to tomorrow. And hopefully that's the case. But it it's extremely important. We got conference games now, and uh, we've got to win uh, all of them, or you know almost all of them, if we're going to win our conference and. I, I think that's going to be our main goal right now, and uh, it starts tomorrow in Hull. Not only that, you've got the Challenge Cup game this week as well. Um, that's, that's going to be a big game as well. Sheffield Steelers, a chance to, to reach a final. Is that a distraction you maybe don't need at the moment, given that there's, you could argue there's more important conference games coming up? No, I'll take all those distractions. <laughs> I'll take those uh, distractions that you have important games to play. Um, no, I don't think it is. I think uh, you know our goal is going to be to uh, to to play uh, in Hull tomorrow, and then we'll have two days off, uh, um, you know, and ready to gear up for Sheffield. But uh, that's something that the players earned by beating um, beating the Blaze and uh, to get to the semifinals. So I, I don't think it's a distraction at all. We'll just have to change focus after uh, Sunday's game. Well, thanks for joining us, Paul. All the best My this pleasure. week. Thanks.